probably been in prison by the way because some of my friends right now that I used to be around they're either in prison or some of them are dead too so Hello everybody and welcome to the Community Heroes podcast. Today we're interviewing Garfield. Can you introduce yourself and tell us a bit about yourself as well please? My name is Garfield and 35 right now at this minute I work for Royal Mail at this moment in time. Who is your community hero and why have you chosen that person? Uh, I chose Sydney because um, when I was young growing up um, I used to do a lot of stuff me and my friends. Some that's good, some that's bad. And Sydney bought us, like bought me and my friends to a youth club in Peckham Queens Road, and basically that's where it all started. Like that's where it kind of got us off the road and like introduced us to like doing films and stuff like and other stuff like that. How did you find your community hero? You know, growing up, never really listened. Like Sydney, Sydney always will be always telling us like you need to come and do this and you need to come and do that. But sometimes we we'll, like sometimes we'll be there, sometimes we won't be there. Like for example, now he's been telling me to come do this interview for a long time now, but I've just been busy now and again. So, but I've kind of made the time to come because it's Sydney and like he helped he helped me when I was younger, basically like to stay out of trouble. Like, what kind of impact has your community hero had on you? What we used to do before and stuff like that and what we do, like what I'm doing now basically, if he didn't come in my life, maybe I probably would have been somewhere else or would have been doing something different. But he kind of say, yeah, you need to be more focused and you know, it's not all about being on the road and stuff like that. So I kind of, listen to that basically what kind of things would you have been doing if you hadn't found sydney and how has it how would have it changed well there's a lot of things like i could be going around probably me and my friends probably beating up people probably robbing people probably you know probably being in prison by the way because some of my friends right now that i used to be around they're either in prison or Some of them are dead too, so, you know. I'm sorry to hear that. What does Sydney mean to you? Yeah, Sydney is kind of like an elderly, like father figure. Like, you know, when your dad's not around, like, you could call up Sydney. Anything you want, you could call up Sydney and Sydney will be there. Sydney will be there, like, maybe not today, but you, you will be there, like, Maybe the next day, or you we'll check on you to make sure you're alright and stuff like that, and to make sure you're doing what you're meant to do. Yeah. When you was growing up, like before you found this, yeah. like whole youth group thing, did you have any help? And if you did, what kind of help did you have? Well, I didn't have no help, you know, before I found the like the youth club and that. It was like just me and my friends were just chilling on the roads and till late in the night and stuff like that going home sometime going parties and that even though we was younger and stuff like that but after we found this it's kind of gave us something to do in it somewhere to go and stuff like that and like even on half terms and stuff like that we used to have stuff to do where did you grow up and how do you think that affected you when you were younger well i grew up in peckham but i don't think Peckham, Peckham wasn't that, to me it wasn't, it wasn't bad, and it ain't bad, it's like, it depends on who you're around, innit, the type of, like, the type of people that you're around, sometimes there's some people, some people there that motivate you, and then there's sometimes there's just people that's not meant to be around you, and it's, it's up to you who you choose to be around. You filmed a, you filmed something with Sydney, and how, I want to know, how did that feel? It felt great because before I never used a camera in my life or I never really did any filming like that before. So when we was doing it, I was like excited. Like every day I would like, we, I think we probably did it for like maybe a week or something like that. And like every day I would get up and be excited to go and just do the movie and that. What was the movie about? 
where the movie was about um, teenage pregnancy, I think. Mm-hmm. And basically, there was a girl in there that had a, had a, was going to have a baby and she didn't know who the dad was. So she was thinking if she was meant to abort it or keep it. And it was about drugs as well. It was, it was kind of mixed as well because it was drugs and... <clears throat> Pregn- and pregnancy at the same time. Do you think that movie helped you relate to some of the people around you? As in? What do you mean, uh, as in? If one of your friends had experienced something like that, do you think that helped you relate to them? It, well, it related to all of us, because all of us was either one person was doing something that they were meant to do. How has your life changed since meeting Sydney? Changed a lot, you know made me more focused and basically put me on the right path basically. Did your community hero help you after you'd gotten your first job and things like that? He was like the godfather, wasn't he? If you go if you go Peckham and you talk about Sydney, everybody knows Sydney in Peckham. Cause like he normally go around like he used to come to our youth club and then they used to go to other youth clubs and stuff like that. So it's like they used to go around everywhere, so as long as you mention Sydney name, everybody knows who Sydney was. And Is there anybody in your group of friends who you would say was impacted the most by Sydney? Yeah, I think there's a couple, there's couple of them. There's a couple of them that was in there that impacted. Did, like Sydney did a good job for them because they were more, they were more out there, like they were more doing stuff and stuff like doing other bits and stuff like that and since they came to the e club and start doing the movie and that like their life kind of changed a bit after you found out about the youth club did you recommend it to any of your friends that were struggling there was like loads of people that started coming after after because once once they start doing like movies and stuff like that everybody wanted to join in and be be a part of it so it's like it's like you seeing a celebrity for the first time and st- you seeing a celebrity for the first time that you know and like everybody want to take a picture with him that was that was what it was like when we was doing the movie like everybody like they were doing the movie and we see the camera everybody wanted to just come and be be involved in it basically there was there was a couple of them there was a couple of them that came that wasn't really interested in it and like they didn't come for maybe a couple of days, but then as the days go on, they started coming back. Or they probably call me and and ask me where I am, and I'm said I said I'm at the U Club, and then I said I'm at the U Club doing film with Sydney and stuff like that, and then they just came down there because basically probably they I don't know if they had something to do or maybe that was something for them to do at the time. Uh, they just probably wanted to leave the house or probably wanted to leave where they was. Do you think the youth club was the only place which wanted or was willing to help you at the time? No way else came to help. If it wasn't for the youth club, probably I would end up somewhere different. But the youth club really helped, like, because there was there there was food and there was there was food and there was drinks and there was pool pool table and games and stuff like that there to do like there was a lot of stuff there to do like when we was when I was growing up after school. How did like crime and like drugs or alcohol? How did that affect you? It didn't really affect me, but it affected people around me. I see people, people that I used to go to school with, people even people that I used to be friends with, like drugs. They went down the wrong path and they're just like on drugs. Some are alcoholic right now, but even when you see them, you can't really believe that that's them there, that you and them used to talk, or you and them used to go to school together and stuff like that. And then, as I said, there's some that's in prison that just didn't get the help that they needed to get from from people. They probably like was maybe screaming out for it, but no one kind of... Look, everybody was thinking like, yeah, they're bad, so I ain't gonna help. I ain't gonna help them or something like that. And then some of them are just in prison now, to be fair. Mm. Are the same things available for your kids that you had growing up? Well, not to be fair, not that I know of, you know, not that I know of. Like my oldest one, she's thirteen, so she's mostly indoors. 
she likes sports so she plays sports but she mostly indoors like she normally keep herself to herself but I'm sure she ain't when I talk to her and stuff like that she don't really mention that there's a youth club or there's somewhere she could go after school or something like that she, I never hear her mention something like that how is your life now after the youth group and are you happy with it my life now is good you know it's I won't say great great but it's good it's like it's better than what it was you know and I find it like I don't know but I find it like obviously when like when you got like little cousins or you got a daughter or stuff like something like that then you kind of realize that you need to look out for them because they're gonna go to school or they're gonna they're gonna grow up like trying to impersonate kind of impersonate what you're doing so you have to just show them that that's not the that's not the way of life like basically to be on the road you have to do something with yourself because when you get older when you get older and you look back at it you're gonna think you waste a lot of time when you was younger thank you for coming and i hope you've had a great time on this podcast thank you thank you for the interview it was some sticky question in there but you know thank you guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe